Hi, boys and girls. It's still February, so we're still talking about Black History Month. Uh, today we're going to learn about an artist named Alma Thomas. She started out as an art teacher, just like Miss Diane. And after she retired from teaching, she started painting and she became a very famous artist. She painted a little differently. She only used lines and shapes and colors. It's called abstract art. Abstract art is art that only uses lines and shapes and colors. So I'm going to show you one of her paintings. And in this painting, you will see lines and colors. So she painted with a broken line technique, which I will show you. So this is one of her paintings. Notice how there are strips of different colors. We see red and blue and yellow. Okay. Now her another painting I want to show you um, is this one. And same thing. She painted with uh, broken lines. But this one you see a circle. And then the broken lines go around the circle. And there's one more I want to show you. This one. Same broken line technique in a circle. So there's a few different ways that we could do this uh, project. And I'm going to show you the first way is with crayons or markers. So you could just take your crayons and markers and you can draw broken lines in a row using different colors. So I'm going to start over here. Stop, 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 stop. So in order to make the lines look broken, we're going to do them in rows but you have to stop, stop, stop to leave space in between your lines so they look broken. And then continue, stop, 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 stop. Now, Alma Thomas used lots of different colors in her painting, so you can switch colors. I'm gonna switch to blue. Stop, 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 stop. Let me get the other blue. This one is kind of dried up. Let's try this one. Stop, 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 stop. And just keep making rows of broken lines like this until you fill up your whole paper. Or you can paint. So I'm going to show you how to do a painting of broken lines. Uh, where's my white paper? Okay. So if you have watercolor paints in a tray like this, you could use these. Or whatever kind of paint you have. You need a cup with water and a brush. So with the watercolor paint, it's dry, so I have to wet it and rub it in the paint. And then I'm going to make broken lines with my paintbrush. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, 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 stop. And then just keep going. You could change color. I'm going to wash my brush. And now I'm going to change colors to purple. Stop, stop, stop. This is really like a dark blue. So another way that you could do this is using paint. And you can continue going using different colors. I'll try orange this time. 
stop, 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 stop. So you can continue on until you fill up your whole paper. Another way you could do this, if you're adventurous, you could do it in a circle like Ama Thomas did. So you could paint a circle in the middle to help you get started. And then you could do your broken lines going around and around in a circle. Stop, 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 stop. Now this is a little trickier, a little bit harder, but if you want to try it, you could do this with crayons or markers or paint or cut paper, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And you can continue changing colors and going around. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, I'm going to show you one more way to do this with cut paper, making a collage. So I'm going to put this aside. Here's one that I started. So what I did was I took my glue stick and I made just a line going down with glue. And then I took paper strips. Now you could use magazines. You could, if you have construction paper, you can use construction paper. Here's a piece I took from a magazine. You could cut it or you can uh, rip it with your fingers. Rip and make rows that look like broken lines. Rip, rip. Oh dear. Sorry about that. My phone was ringing. Okay, so that's another way that you could do it. Uh, I'll continue to make another row of red. And if you fill up your paper, it will look just like Alma Thomas. So you have a choice of how you want to do this project. It's up to you to decide how you want to do it. And make sure that you send me your pictures. Okay, everybody. See you next time.